After 17 years of waiting, it's finally here. Alan Moore and Steve Moore's magnum opus on the art of magic. Has it been worth the wait? Welcome back to my channel, I'm Danny Buckler and this is The Right Side of Mad where we talk about all kinds of stuff like magic, philosophy, zen stuff non-duality, self-help stuff, all of it's covered here, all of it's covered here, filtered through the nervous system of me. And we're going to talk today about a book I've been waiting 17 long years for. If that's the kind of content you are into, hit subscribe and hit like. The Wonderful Moon and Serpent Bumper Book of Magic by Alan Moore and the late Steve Moore. No relation, but very close friends and a beautiful relationship they had. And this has been, I first heard about this book, it feels like decades ago because it is. It was 17 years ago, apparently. It feels like longer when I first heard Alan Moore speak of this and it being forthcoming. I've been to see Alan Moore speak live. He's mentioned it a few times and I've actually met the man. I don't know him, but I have met him. This hand has shaken the hand that wrote this book. Has it been worth the wait? Yes, it has. I am... I've basically spent three days, it arrived three days ago, I have spent the last three days living in this book from dawn to dusk. I could not put it down. I made a ritual of it. I cleared the room, I lit a candle and I sat down here, I started reading and that was me. Three days. Now I've not read everything in here in three days. I'm not going to pretend that I have. This is a review based on first impressions because this is a book that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. This is the one you're going to come back to and come back to and come back to. It is wonderful. I am so pleased. I am so pleased. It, it's it's just it's just what you want, you know. It's this, very rare that you. Know, how many times have I heard about a title of a book and fantasized about what it's going to contain, and then gotten hold of it and found out it don't contain that much. You know, it's a massive letdown. The false promise, you know, the post book high wears off. Not this one, mate. This is a grimoire for the ages. This book is going to sustain. It's got so much in it. It is so dense. It is essentially Alan Moore's magical philosophy. It is decades of one man's exploration into the world's magical traditions condensed down into one fantastic accessible grimoire he covers it all in here first of all it's, it's a stunning object it's massive i mean look at the size of that i remember when he was talking about it and uh, me and a mate were having a panic he said it was gonna be like a beano book and we thought if this is, just turns out to be a practical joke you know when it comes out and that's all it is and it dances around the edges without actually landing anything i'll be furious it is not it lands it, it covers many different... There are some Pinot book elements to it, mind you. But they're done beautifully. This artwork, the, the way it's put together, it is a thing of beauty. Even if you've got no interest in the subject, as an object, just to flick through, the artwork is incredible. I think it's six different artists that have contributed to this. All of them massively different in style. And the thing just feels magical and although the the styles are different the thing flows you know it, it doesn't feel janky it all seems to be infused with with wonderment i'm not making this up it's uh got various sections in it it's got um instructional stuff how to literally how to do magic um in the sections titled things to do on a rainy day which there's four or five that basically explain how to actually do this stuff and uh, but it's got much more than that. It's got Old Moore's Lives of the Great Enchanters, which gives you some insight into practitioners of the art over the centuries. It's got essays. It's got one of the most wonderful, most detailed explorations of Kabbalah that I've ever read. Again, accessible. So much wisdom, so much pure knowledge condensed into a very, very accessible format. The Kabbalah section is fantastic. I've read that all the way through. The tarot section is fantastic. I've read through that all the way through. 
the things to do on a rainy day sections are absolutely applicable. You can start doing this stuff in your own life, exploring your relationship with your own consciousness and that consciousness is relationship with everyone else's consciousness and how those things combine to create the effects of magic. Chaos magic gets a little bit of a kicking in this book, I'm not going to lie to you, but, but one that he justifies, one that he backs up and one that I've got to be honest, having read him, I sort of agree with. This is one of those books that's actually changed how I think about things. And I can give it no higher praise than that. It's absolutely changed my approach to the thing. I feel I'm a better man, a better magician for having read this book already. Truly I do. And it's very rare that you get a book that can do that. This has gone straight into my list of the three books that I reread the most. This has just bumped one of them out, I reckon. Or it's going to over time, obviously, because I've only had it three days. But I will be returning to this and returning to this and returning to this. The only thing, um, this is not a criticism in any way. It's just a, a, a thought. I, I can't criticise this book. It's too good. But... I'm also very aware that I'm coming to it, having studied this stuff for the best part of 30 years now, you know? And I'm not an expert by any measure. That's not to try and imply any kind of expertise. It's just that I've read a lot of these concepts and it's clarified them for me, an awful lot of them. I've got more clarity from this, but I was going in with prior knowledge. I think for a beginner, there's a chance it may be overwhelming. And I stress a chance because I can't put myself back into that mindset and come at it clean, you know. So, but to a beginner, there's an awful lot in here and it's very, very dense. It could be overwhelming, but it flows so beautifully that um, I can't conceive of anyone being disappointed by it. I really can't. It gets my highest recommendation. I don't know what else to say, you know. And it seems like a companion piece as well. If you've read Promethea, Alan Moore's magic comic book, now disowned, along with a lot of his other comic book work. But a wonderful read regardless. It's still Alan Moore and it's still absolutely beautiful. And this and that. It, it, Promethea feels like the story and this feels like the... This, sort of infor, what, this is what informs the story and vice versa. It's like a symbiotic process. All of his stuff feels to be part of some great magical working that he's doing to get his ideas out there. And I've also just started reading the new novel, The Great When. Now, I'm only a little way into that, so I can't say how that lines up with this. Uh, people that have read both, and how you manage to do that in a week is beyond me. But people that have read both are telling me that the two inform each other, that there's an awful lot of stuff that's in The Great When that kind of bleeds into this, a lot of the Austin Osman spare stuff. So I'm keen to see if that is the case. But it's a dense tome. It's a dense tome. This is absolutely up there. This is... This gets my highest recommendation. And as uh, people get in this for Christmas, let me tell you. The Moon and Serpent Bumper Book of Magic by Alan Moore and Steve Moore. It's out now. You can get it from Amazon. It is well, well worth your time. It is well, well worth the investment. I have never fallen in love with a book quite as fast as I have with this one. I'm probably going to do more videos on this. This is just the beginning one, you know. I want to get this out there because I'm so excited. But uh, I'll be returning to this, don't you worry. And returning to other matters on this channel. This weekend, I leave for Japan. So there's going to be some videos coming for you from there. If you want to see those, hit subscribe, hit like, hit the notification bell. It all helps me out. Spread the word. Take care, my friends. See you on the next video.